Hey, this is Dan Benson. Today, I'm going to teach you how to program your PID RS-48 kiln controller. These instructions also work for kiln controllers in the same family. In this example, we will use three stages. The first stage goes from the ambient temperature to 100 degrees over 20 minutes. Then we will step up to 120 degrees over 16 minutes. And finally, we will hold that temperature for eight minutes and then the controller will shut off. Before we start punching buttons, let's write the schedule out. Here's what the example looks like. Please note the beginning temperature of the next stage is the same as the ending temperature of the preceding stage. Get this through your head because this is the key to understanding what you're doing. To belabor the point, let's look at my sample schedule. Stage 1 starts at 18, takes 20 minutes, and ends at 100 degrees. Stage 2 starts at 100 degrees, which was the ending temperature of stage 1, and takes 16 minutes to go up to 120 degrees. Stage 3 starts at 120 degrees, which again, remember, that's the ending temperature from the preceding stage. It holds for 8 minutes and ends at 120 degrees. Then we turn it off. Let's get started. Your controller has two lines of display. The top is labeled PV. I call that the present value. The second line is labeled SV. I call that the set value. When you first apply power, the set value shows the ending result when the power was removed. In this case, the schedule completed successfully and the schedule stopped. Here you'll also find some helpful error codes. To start programming, you press the left arrow. You will see C01. Think C stands for centigrade and the 01 is the stage we're programming. The first stage starts at the ambient temperature of the controller. Get into the habit of programming each digit individually. You will choose which digit you're changing with the left arrow. Press the up and down arrows as needed to change the value of that digit. Once you're done entering the parameter, press set. This will bring us to the screen labeled T01. The T stands for time and 01, of course, is the stage that you're programming. Enter the time and hit set again. Now you will see C02. Remember, C is centigrade, and this is the starting temperature of stage 2, which was also the ending temperature of stage 1. Enter 100 degrees and press set. Next is the time we want to spend at this stage. Enter 16, press set. Now we're in stage three. Enter 120, which is the starting temperature for this stage, and it's also the ending temperature of the previous stage. Press set. Enter the time of eight minutes and press set. Stage four is the starting temperature of this stage, which was also the ending temperature of stage 3, or 120 degrees. Hit set. To terminate the program when it's running, enter a time of minus 121. To exit programming, 
hold the left arrow and the set key at the same time. To... Now let's review what we've done so we make sure we haven't uh, screwed up. Highly recommend doing this before you run the program, just to make sure. To run the program, hold the down arrow. And while the controller is running, you can hold the up arrow at any time to abort the program. There are a lot of options available. These options are listed in the manual. To change these options, press and hold the set button for two seconds. Then you'll cycle through the options by pressing the up and down arrow keys. Most of the time you won't need to change any of these options. However, if you find that your controller doesn't follow the schedule closely enough, you may want to do auto-tune. My controller controls the temperature within four degrees centigrade. Please see the manual for lots more instructions. I hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.